to a new vlog. I hope your day is happy. Here in Florida, it is kind of gloomy outside and I'm such a sunshine lover. So I'm trying to like get my energy up for the day, but I've had a pretty good morning so far. I was able to have a slower morning, which is always nice. And I woke up at five with Brandon, my husband, and then I ended up going back to sleep, which I actually have been doing for the past three days. And it's kind of been like an experiment for me because I am a morning person. Like I love being up early, but the past three days I've just woke up and felt so tired and like nothing in the world sounded better than going back to bed. So I've been going back to bed and the first two days I did it, like I woke up, I woke back up at seven o'clock when the sun was rising and I just felt like so energized and refreshed and I, I felt like more sense of urgency because like to get stuff done because you know usually I wake up at five and start working like at 5 45 after my quiet time and so like since I didn't have that time I felt like more urgency so I felt even more productive so I was like hmm interesting should I try to do this as my morning routine instead so I tried it again yesterday and then again today and I've concluded that no it is not healthy for me to do that because it's so inconsistent like yeah I woke up really good the other day but the past two days I woke up like a zombie and not I wasn't in a bad mood but I was just like no it wasn't productive like I was just lying in bed on my phone for an hour you know so I think I'm gonna start getting up at five again and staying up, but in the winter, it's been so much harder because it's so dark outside, so I don't know. But after I woke up and got my coffee and started going, I've had a good productive morning since then, and today we have a jam-packed day. I have quite a bit of Disney meetings. It's actually, I have like three hours of Disney meetings today, so it's kind of crazy. Um, I usually don't have that many. But it's a busy one and I have to run some errands. So tomorrow we have a potluck at Disney. It's potluck season, y'all. Um, and I think I'm gonna make my homemade Pop-Tarts. I don't know if I've ever vlogged making them before, but they're so easy and I feel like they always look really impressive. So, and they're fun and different, you know? So I'm gonna make those like with some Christmas sprinkles. Um, so I need to go get the ingredients for that. And then I need to pick up some gifts as well. And we're also going to pop by an open house. I'll talk about that more later. And I was about to film a video. Um, last week I filmed what we spend in a week. And I need to film like just talking about it. But I think I'm going to actually wait to do that Saturday morning. Just because I don't want to feel too rushed during it. And I do have to leave for the open house and like an hour and I could like get stuff organized because I'm going to take my Disney meetings from Starbucks. Basically I'm planning my whole day around Starbucks happy hour. That's like what I have my eyes set on, like give me the coffee. But yeah, so we have a jam packed day, but it's going to be a fun one. And then I'm thinking my mom might come over for dinner, which would be nice. So it's going to be fun. We got to be productive, keep the energy going, even though it's super cloudy outside. Alexa, pause. He never listens. Alexa, pause, please. Alexa, pause. Alexa, pause. Alexa, pause, please. Thank you. She is being naughty today. Okay, so this is the outfit of the day. I haven't worn a pink blazer in way too long, so I figured like it was time to bring it back, you know, give a, give us a little boost. The pink blazer always does that for us. So <laughs> that's what I did. And I'm wearing this white turtleneck. It's from Express. I've worn it so many times. I've shared it so many times before, but it's truly the best because it's so stretchy and comfy. Um, so that's what I'm wearing. And then I'm just wearing some jeans. They're my ripped Express ones. I probably should put a belt on, but I don't know. I don't have anything super fancy. And like for my meetings, I just have here up so it looks it looks just fine and then for shoes i'm just wearing my house slippers right now obviously i'll change once i leave the house but i like to keep them on for as long as possible and then i also want to show you my accessories um which i don't often do but i just got these hoop earrings from urban and they came in a set of three and i really really like them I've been wearing them. I don't know yet. They were only 20 bucks for all three of them. So I feel like they'll probably turn green eventually, but I'm hoping they last a while because these are the kind of earrings like I love to wear every day. Um, and then I'm wearing my blue light glasses and these are from Glasses USA. 
and my necklaces. This was from a FabFitFun box a long time ago, and this is from Majuri. And then I have my RA ring, and then this one's from Etsy, and then this one's from Golden. So that's the outfit. Let's do some computer work before we leave. <laughs> Okay, so before I pop out of the house for the day, I wanted to share this brand that I am so incredibly excited to be partnering with, and it is Two Blind Brothers. So, it's different than any brand I've ever worked with, and you guys are going to be blown away, but just a little background about Two Blind Brothers. Basically, it's a clothing company founded by two brothers and both of the brothers have been visually impaired since childhood which is what drives the mission of this company and their mission and purpose is to design pieces of clothing based on their sense of touch because of course when you're visually impaired your other senses are usually heightened so you know the sense of touch is so important to people who are visually impaired but also who doesn't want quality clothing and pieces that are soft and comfortable to the touch? I mean, I definitely do. But best of all, 100% of their profits go to finding a cure for blindness, which is so, so, so incredible. And especially in this season of giving, like the fact that you can buy quality products and give back while you do that is so incredible to me and makes me so in love with this company so it's a little different because i'm gonna open this box but i'm not gonna show you anything i know it's such a tease but they have this shop blind challenge which is so genius and such a fun surprise so basically you go to their website and you choose how much money you want to spend. And then Two Blind Brothers will ship surprise items in this box to your door. So you won't know what you're gonna get, but there's two guarantees. You'll receive something amazing and giftable. So if you're still looking for gifts for some people in your life, this is such a fun and incredible way to do something creative and different, but you know you'll get a quality piece. And if you want to surprise yourself or a loved one with a Two Blind Brothers box or products, you can go to twoblindbrothers.com slash Allison to give it a try and give twice this holiday season. You'll give a gift by purchasing because 100% of the profits go to helping cure blindness, but then you'll also actually give the gift to someone you love. So it's really a win-win and I'm so excited to be working with them and hope you guys love them as much as I do. Ah, I love it. Okay, so now I think it's time. It's actually raining. Ugh, I'm not, I don't want to leave the house now. I just want to be cozy. Um, but I'm going to pack up my stuff, pack up my work computer. I need to make sure I bring headphones for when I'm at the coffee shop and I have my meetings. And then what else do I need? I need to make a list of all the stuff I need to get at Target, like all the ingredients for my Pop-Tarts. So I'm going to look on Pinterest to get a recipe. But yeah, it's almost time to leave. tripod it's just like the little handheld thing I use so I'm really sorry if it's shaky but I wanted to talk and drive at the same time so clearly it is super rainy and yucky outside but I kind of I kind of like it like I'm, I'm into the rain um, we usually have so much rain in the summer so it's kind of different to have it in the winter this time last year, every time it rained in the winter, I was freaking out because our wedding was in February. So I was like, oh my gosh, it's gonna rain on our wedding. Thankfully it didn't, but you know, it was just kind of stressful. 
But right now I am on the way to the open house. So if you watched one of my vlogs, it's called like big life update or something. Basically, I just shared that Brandon and I are starting to look at houses. We have our lease on our apartment until next January, so over a year. But we're starting to just look and learn and kind of just get a better understanding because it is literally such a big deal and such a big life thing. So we feel like the more information and the more we're prepared, the better. So that's kind of what we're doing and our realtor, he emailed us this open house um, to check out and basically it's this house was built by the builder that we're speaking and discussing with if we potentially want to build our own house. So it's just kind of like to get a better idea and to like chat with our realtor and just kind of see and get some inspo. It's, this house is actually $100,000 more than we would even spend on our house. But again, it's just to like get inspiration and get a good idea of like what we could be getting ourselves into. So yeah, that is what I'm doing and it's in my dream neighborhood. I love this neighborhood so much. Um, so I just love to go to this neighborhood even like for like any excuse to go to this neighborhood, I will go. So that's what I'm doing today. Um, I probably won't stay for long at all. Just do like a quick little walkthrough, but I love open houses. Like you don't have to tell me twice to come to open house. Like I will drop everything and come check it out. I am so insanely in love with home stuff. Like I'm becoming a home decor junkie. Like I just want to decorate a new house. Like I am becoming so obsessed with it and I do not think it's a good thing. Like I like, it's pretty innocent, but like I feel like I'm putting too much kind of like of my joy in it on like a material thing. I know a house is like so much more than just a material thing. It's like where you want to raise your family and where you're going to create all your memories and all that kind of stuff. But I just never want to put too much of my like joy and happiness into a material thing because that's not where my joy and happiness lies. Like it lies in my faith and my trust and peace in God and all that. So I never wanted to be too of an obsession, like an idol, you know? So I need to be careful about it and I need to chill out a little bit, but I've been praying a lot about it just to like have peace and not too much, not put too much pressure on it. So I think I've been getting better, but it's just such a big deal. It's so crazy. It's such like a big life thing. So who knows what it, what will happen, but I'm keeping you guys updated for sure. And I'll show you some clips of the house. P.S. If you guys could pray for me that I just am more chill and have like complete trust that everything will work out with the house, that would be so, so amazing. I would so appreciate that. And if you have any prayer requests, like feel free to comment them down below. But if they're more private, like you can send me a message on Instagram or... I guess that's the best place to send me a message. I don't think there's a better place, but I'd love to pray for you guys. Um, prayer seriously is so powerful, and every time I pray about anything, this sense of peace I get is so, so amazing. So I really do believe it's such a powerful thing, so let me know how I can pray for you. home and I got rained on but it's all good um it was pretty I mean it was beautiful it wasn't like what we were looking for at all like we would never look at it, it was too big and stuff but it was definitely a nice house and had a great lot and stuff but it's always just interesting to see these things and I do get inspiration like oh I would do this here and I would do that there and blah, blah 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 so it gets my like creative home juices flowing for sure <laughs> to Starbucks the first meeting I have is an hour and 30 minutes long so hopefully they have a seat because I need to hunker down there for a while 
Also, if you're worried about the pie crust I just bought getting bad, I actually brought ice pack. I have a cooler in my trunk, so I'll stick it in there, but I, I brought ice packs to kind of keep them cool while I'm in my meeting. hungry though like so 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 hungry um because i haven't eaten since breakfast i did have like a few sips of a green smoothie leftovers that i had but that does not fill me up at all so my meeting my next meeting starts in literally like five minutes so if i want to eat something the time is now so i think i'm gonna have some chips and salsa I was kind of near Chipotle when I was at Starbucks and Target, but I didn't have time to grab anything or Chick-fil-A or anything. Um, but literally nothing in the world sounds better than Chipotle. I am such a Chipotle lover. It's so delicious to me. But chips and salsa will suffice. Also, I think I'm going to stand for my next meeting it's an hour long so that's like a pretty long time to commit to standing but i could just like move to my bar stool this is like where i stand if i want to take a meeting standing because my butt like starts to hurt when i'm sitting down all day does that happen to anyone else like my butt feels well i did work out my butt last night so that's why it's sore but like my back it's not even my back my butt it's my back like my lower back starts to hurt when i'm like sitting the same way all day so I'm gonna try to stand. <laughs> Okay, I've got my setup. I'm using my two blind brothers box as like a little prop to make my laptop taller so that I don't have to like look down at it if that makes sense, but it's quite the little DIY standing desk. it went well and it was so nice to stand I'm so glad I decided to stand and I could like move around my legs and I just felt so free and my back didn't hurt so that was a good decision um, and I'm just really thankful that I get to work for Disney even though of course like YouTube stuff and my own personal brand takes up so much time and I a hundred percent get overwhelmed like especially the last few weeks I've been getting overwhelmed so much which is like a bummer because I'm so thankful for all my opportunities um but you know it's just like a lot sometimes so sometimes I struggle with being overwhelmed a lot but I am really thankful to be part of something bigger and if you're new here or like don't know what I do for Disney I'm a social media and communications coordinator for our global talent acquisition team and I basically work on a freelance basis so they'll ask if I can do certain projects mainly video editing honestly just simple like social sizzles and stuff and um, I'll either say no or yes and that's kind of how it works but I'm still like a very much part of the team and I'm a cast member so it's a very interesting role but I'm super thankful for it and I wanted to share this one thing like for all my working ladies or if you're in college like this is really helpful um my mom sent it to me a few months ago but it's like how to email like a boss and I just actually sent an email like this because it took me forever to respond because I honestly forgot about the email. I read it one day and then totally forgot about it. Um, and so like you could say sorry for the delay, which is fine, but instead you can say thanks for your patience. And it's like less negative to say thanks for your patience and you're not putting like a spotlight on you taking forever. You know what I mean? So it's like, you took a while to respond to say, thanks for your patience, blah, 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 instead of, sorry for the delay, I've been really busy, blah, 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 blah. Like, one's way more positive than the other. 
I'll do another example. Okay, if you make a small error, like obviously if you make a big error, you need to like, you know, own up to it. But if you make like a small error, instead of saying, ah, oh, sorry, my bad, totally missed that, you can say, nice catch, updated file attached. Thanks for letting me know. So, I mean, and I feel like I am someone who could say sorry a lot, you know, because I like to own up to when I'm wrong and stuff. And I do think that's important. But, you know, saying sorry all the time, it kind of can make other people think you make a lot of mistakes or, you know, you're not confident. So instead of saying sorry, say like, nice catch, totally missed that. Oh, wait, no, nice catch, updated file attached. Thanks for letting me know. So it's just like those small little changes can make you seem way more confident and powerful. I don't know, like more of a girl boss. So I just thought that was worth sharing. But now it's four o'clock, 4.05. Brandon will be home in about 25 minutes. I'm going to start making the Pop-Tarts. And then, I don't know when my mom's going to get here, but she's coming over for dinner. So excited. She'll probably get here around 5. And I'm going to make her a big salad. So I'll start doing that after the Pop-Tarts. But it's going to be a cozy night. It's still really, really cloudy out there and rainy. So I'm glad to be home. is almost here and I made her a salad just like I'm gonna put the chickpeas in there too and just a homemade dressing I asked if she wanted veggie burgers but she said she preferred a salad but our veggie burgers are ready to get heat up in the microwave when she gets here I'll just blast them for a minute and then we'll have a yummy meal gave Brandon a new game for his birthday. We're gonna play it real quick. I still have to bake my pop tarts, but before I do that, I wanna change to my Christmas PJs. These are my Disney ones from JCPenney, but I think they have them at Walmart as well. I'll link them if I can find them online. Um, but it's so funny because tomorrow at work, so I don't even know if I explained this, but I'm making the pop tarts for a potluck we have at work tomorrow, but then also for like a friend's, it's not a friend's giving, but it's like a Christmas brunch with our friends on Saturday. Um, but for work tomorrow, we get to wear our PJs. Like we're supposed to wear Christmas PJs to work for the potluck. So <laughs> I'm literally going to change into these PJs. I probably should shower first. Um, but I'm gonna change the PJs and then I like don't have to change for work tomorrow because <laughs> I'm just wearing those like it's kind of amazing. I took a shower already and I'll be ready to bed go to bed after I brush my teeth but I want to do a little taste test mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. come try come try come try come try naked. he's naked he's about to go in the shower oh my gosh it's so good 
it's it's like not hard and i'm listening to a podcast so it's like going by fast but it is taking like way longer but i am making like double because it's for like two occasions but i'll link the recipe i'm following down below okay guys here's the finished product of the homemade pop tarts I'm gonna like arrange them more pretty and stuff once they dry a bit more, but I think they're really sweet and super yummy and a little different. So it's a fun idea if you have any Christmas potlucks or just like dessert parties coming up as well. Okay, that is all for today's vlog. I feel like it was pretty eventful. It was a long, fun day, um, but I'm tired, especially after like leaning. I've just been leaning over, looking down at these pop tarts. <laughs> but it's fun. I always enjoy doing that kind of thing and just like listening to music or a podcast and kind of unplugging for a few hours. So it was good, but I hope you guys enjoy this vlog and be sure to check out Two Blind Brothers, such an incredible company and a gift idea. And thank you guys so much for watching. I love and appreciate you all so much and can't wait to see you soon. Bye. Christmas Day.